Hey Leo, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, this is going to be your general yearly reading for 2022. Let's go ahead and start. Leo, any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. Um, I do have a holiday sale going on right now for personals, for those of you who are interested. I'm also not reading in a straight line here, and this is totally general, so... Um, it's going to have quite a few different messages, so forgive me if I jump ahead here or jump around is what I should say. It's a yearly reading, so there will probably be a lot that comes through here. King of Swords as your overall energy, Leo. So King of Swords to me is a card of honesty. you got the Justice card right <laughs> underneath that here. So King of Swords is the only court card that will face you straight. So to me, he talks a lot about truth and honesty and acceptance. Um, also mastery of something here. So um, I do think that you could be finding clarity. This could be uh, a good year for figuring out what your truth is. Or it could just be figuring out the truth in general. Um, you start off with the Six of Pentacles. So right off the bat, right at the beginning of the year, I do feel as if you guys are like starting new things here, Leo. Like... Um, let me go ahead and get the other deck out so I can clarify. So if you could have your moon in Taurus or your moon in Libra, but um, I feel like right at the beginning of the year, you're going to be planting new seeds here. Like, And I feel like this is in multiple areas of your life. Like you're wanting new things to happen this year. It's like you are determined to have a year of change. Some of you, you're like, I don't want this to go the way that 2020 went. Yeah, I'm ready to close things out here. It's a beautiful energy, truly, that you're starting off with here in January. So, um, you know, I see you beginning new things. You're very excited about that. Um, however, I feel that in the month of February, you guys, like, it, it kind of dies down a little bit. Like, you lose your motivation or you lose that spark or that interest. Some of you, excuse me, um, you could have some Virgo in your chart or you may end up connecting with a Virgo here, but... I just feel as if there's something, like, there's not anything major that is going to happen here that's, like, super terrible that's putting you in this energy. It just seems like it's a natural, um, you know, kind of burnout energy here. For others of you, I think you just may, may be reflecting on where you want to go next with this. Some of you could have a fire sign come in in the month of February. Um, I mainly feel, you know, in this energy now, um, for February, is that there, there could be a distraction. That could be what kind of sets you back a little bit, is there could be a person that comes in and they kind of serve as a distraction. For others of you, um, I do think that it's like maybe you kind of get bored of the way that you're going at something here, Leo, and you're like, you know what, maybe I'll try it a different way, but what way will that be? You know, I know that I don't want to do it this way, but what way should I do it? You know, that kind of energy here. Um, it's like you want change, but you're not sure what kind. So I see you kind of going through that in the month of February. Um, some of you, like I said, you're, you're going to have a fire sign come in here. Um, and they may be a distraction because there's a wishy-washy energy with them, okay? You got the page of wands, like they're very um, excited, you know, or exciting, whatever. Um, attractive, attracted to you. There's a lot of communication. There's a lot of chemistry. And then, bam, there's, you know, this drawback. Like, I don't know what the drawback is, but um, it's something, okay? Uh, with the hermit showing up, it's something because somebody chooses to withdrawal. There could be like a heated discussion. There could be a disagreement, like so just some cold energy, you know, with the uh, King of Swords being on the bottom of the deck there. Um, so yeah, that could go on in the month of February, but we could go on and on and on with that. So let's go ahead and move to March with the Page of Pentacles because that looks good. Um, what's going on here with the Page of Pentacles for Leo? We got Earth Energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Swords. Huh, very interesting. There could be um, that this King of Swords, it, it feels like this King of Swords being your overall energy um, could be referring to something regarding like money, work, business, um, like just stability in general. We'll just say stability because, you know, the pinnacles aren't just money and work. Um, they are stability, right? Could be commitment as well, especially because we have the King and the Queen of Swords here. All right, got Libra, got Aquarius. But that Page of Pentacles, you know, I do feel is good news coming in in the month of March. It could be a sale that you're making or, you know, it could be a donation of some sort to you. Um, it could be a friend or a family member saying, hey, there's this opportunity here. Um, or somebody saying, hey, I know a lot about that. You want to partner up, right? It's that kind of energy if it's in work or business. It's like you are finding the missing piece. Like that's who's coming in here. Remember how I said that the King of Swords can be you mastering something here? Like just gaining a lot of knowledge, wisdom. Um, and I think that that'll, that'll happen. Like you'll get the missing puzzle piece in the month of March is basically the energy that I feel here. For others of you, uh, you're able to move on from something physically, okay? 
You, uh, that's the best way I can describe that. You're able to physically put something behind you. So for some of you, this is a new job. Uh, for others of you, you could just be, you know, quitting a job. You could be retiring, okay? Um, it could be that time, you know? Like I said, there's like mastery here with something. And then you have that justice card right underneath it. It's like you've served your time here, right? It's that kind of energy. And the Page of Pentacles, it talks about a fresh start, um, you know, fresh land, a new beginning. Some of you, there could be a move. Maybe you're able to leave a place behind here. We have the Nine of Swords showing up for April. I do think that you're grieving. Um, whatever you've left behind in the month of April. Somebody could have Mars in Gemini. Let's look at this. The Fool. I mean, you're, you're grieving your... You're grieving this energy of like, I don't want to call it a prison because it feels like this is something that, you know, it gave and take. It gave and take. <laughs> It gave and took, Leo. Um, I'm saying it gave and take because I feel like you're still in this situation. It gives and it takes. You know, so it's like... Um, you're free from certain things, but you're also kind of grieving the loss of certain things. That's why I feel like for some of you, you could be retiring here um, sometime in the year of 2022. But it's bittersweet. You know, I'll put it that way. In the month of April, it feels like there's a bittersweet ending here. But, you know, there's freedom. And I feel like this is going to be one of the most extraordinary years of your life for you. You have the lovers here. You have the fool. You have the strength card. You have the six of wands, the chariot. The king of swords is your overall energy. I mean, that's mastery. That's like the highest ranking of the court cards here. So, um, you know, I feel like it's like discovery. It's, it's self-discovery here. It truly is. You have the lovers showing up uh, in May. And Leo, that's not to say that you don't know yourself already, but it's like there, there's a different version of you coming along in the year of 2022. And I feel like it's going to be, you know, one of the biggest changes that you've gone through because it looks like you're leaving a situation that, um, like I said, I think you've been in it for a long time and it, and it gives and takes, okay? That's the best way I can describe that energy there. What's going on with the lovers? Justice, okay. Um, this can be a card of... Um, it is a card of cause and effect. It's a card of honesty. It's a card of truth. Some of you, you could have a truth coming in. Um, you know, you could have some communication coming in, I should say, from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, okay? Um, it may allow for a turning point for you. It may allow for some, you know, freedom here from um, maybe you were kind of holding on to something, waiting on that truth for some of you. For others of you, you know, the Justice card can just talk about getting what's owed to you, okay? Getting something that you've waited on, you've wished for for a long time. Um, some of you, this is something legal. One second, you guys, sorry. Some of you, this is something legal, but I also feel like there's this energy with the Justice card and the lovers of you kind of coming into alignment. Like I said, with your new, with this new version of yourself here, Leo, is basically the energy that I get from May. It's like things are starting to level out, okay? You have the full card showing up for June. So it's like where you're in that grieving energy, like grieving the end of something. Like I said, it's a bittersweet ending. It doesn't feel like anything that um, you didn't choose, you know? It's just an internal battle, and you can even see it there with those twins on the bottom of the bed. You can see them fighting one another. This is the Mars and Gemini card, and that's the symbol um, of Mars and Gemini. The twins are uh, fighting one another down there. So it is an internal battle. It's like, I knew that it was time to leave, but, you know, it doesn't mean that I can't be sad, right? Um, and in the month of May, it looks like things start to level out, and you're like, yes, I'm, I'm happy with my choices, and, you know, I'm going to move on. I'm going to continue to feel this free energy that I've been feeling here and what I was searching for when I left that situation. <laughs> so let's look at June, because we had the full here. We got an Aquarius card there as well. So let's look at the full. Page of Pentacles. Like I said, you guys, it's going to be an extraordinary year for you in terms of, um, you know, just this. Just this weight being lifted off of your shoulders is how this feels to me. Um, you know, in the month of March, it seems like that begins. And there's just a very up and down energy in between March and June. Now, I feel like things start to level out in the month of May. But in the month of June, I think that's when you're really going to, um, you know, be certain that you made the right choice here. Okay? Um, and, and you did. And you will. You know? But the full card, you have the full card showing up twice and the Page of Pentacles showing up twice. It's like there is just this... I feel like you guys could be moving here, and I think that it could be an unexpected move. You may just up and decide, you know what, um, you know, you made one big change, and then you're going to make another. That's the energy that I feel here. That's why I think that this is going to be just a really extraordinary year for you, because um, it, it's like you get the courage to do one thing, and it's really hard, and you're like, you know what, why don't I go ahead and do 
this other difficult thing. You know, I did it once, I can do it again, right? Although it's something different, it's still something that's really difficult that you've always wanted to do, right? And I think that could be the energy you're stepping into um, in the month of June, okay? You have the King of Wands right here for July. Let's look at that. I feel like you're itching for adventure here in the month of July, Leo. What's going on with the King of Wands here? Oh, getting two. The Chariot and the Magician. Yeah, some of you, um, you've had some movement here, okay? Or you're going to be moving. Um, now, you could be getting into sales or something. Some of you, you may have retired or something. But like, like I said, I get that energy for someone here. Um, <clears throat> if you have retired, because uh, this is one of the stories. There's another one here as well. Um, if you have retired, I feel like you could end up getting into sales here in the month of July. Like There's something here that you just have a huge passion for. And I think that you're going to be putting a lot of energy and focus into that. Um, you're just feeling very inspired. And some of you, it could be because you end up moving. Um, you know, so you, you could, you know, come into alignment with a community of people who uh, spark this interest for you. <clears throat> However, for others of you, um, I think that this is something that you're just like naturally gifted at with the magician showing up in the chariot. Like you're having a lot of success with this here, Leo, in the month of July. Now for others of you, like I said, you're planning a move here. You're very excited about that. Um, and for others of you, I think there's a person that you have manifested who's going to be coming in here in the month of July. It could be a Cancer, a Virgo, or a Gemini. Aquarius, maybe another Leo, all right? Um, but I do feel like this person is going to feel like they have a lot of control, so just be careful with this here. Um, I would hate for that to, you know, move you backwards, Leo. So just be careful with that because I feel like this person, they just feel like they're kind of steering the ship here. I just get a very arrogant energy, okay? Um, I do. And I know people love to say that you're the arrogant sign. Like, I've truly never known a Leo like that. It's so weird. Um, my brother's a Leo. He's the most kind-hearted person I know. But anyways, um, and I'm not being biased. I've known, you know, other Leos, but that's just the one that came to mind first. But you know, I feel like you're coming into alignment with an arrogant energy, um, especially because we have that King of Wands there. And I wanted to say that about Leos because I just wanted you guys to know that I'm not saying, um, I'm not talking about arrogance because we have a Leo card out here. Um, it's just that we have the Chariot, which is a card of somebody who's steering the ship. And that's a great thing. Confidence is a great thing. But this feels more like ego to me. And ego is a great thing and, and you know, a balanced ego, right? But this person... Um, you know, I feel as if theirs is a little bit, uh, too powerful. Okay. Uh, it, it, it kind of tricks them out of going for good things. So some of you, you may feel as if like you may be taking it personally, but it's like, um, you know, that their pride is what's getting in the way here. It's their, it's their own problem here in the month of July. So some of you, that you may encounter this energy that makes you kind of question like, well, why aren't they moving forward with me? And it's just, you know, they're, they're just... They're just wanting to steer the ship here, basically. They're wanting to have all the control. Um, and that's why the magician is here as well. That's somebody with tricks up their sleeves. It doesn't really feel as if this person is uninterested. It just seems like they feel like they have to play a game. So I don't know what's going on with this person here. It could be a Cancer, a Virgo, or a Gemini. But I feel like you have too much going on to let somebody be this wishy-washy, you know? And as arrogant as I feel they are, I think that you have a lot more to be cocky about here personally with everything you've got going on. Um, so yeah, I would just not even, you know, entertain this if I were you. However, you know that this is general and you're going to have to use your judgment so if somebody comes in and they seem like a sweet and caring individual and you want to give it a shot uh, even if they don't seem like a sweet and caring individual you go for it you're here to experience things you're here to learn lessons and you know you're just going to have to use your judgment with this one but i do see that coming through as a warning for someone that this could kind of get you in your head and you know cause you to move backwards so just be careful with it okay just watch out um you have the ace of pentacles for august Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on with that Ace of Pentacles? I think that if you're moving in the year of 2022, especially in the summer months, it could be a lengthy process, okay? It could be a lengthy process. The Death card, yeah, that could be when it closes out is in August for some of you. I also feel like there, there could be a commitment to an Earth sign or a Scorpio here um, in the month of August, Leo. I feel like somebody's gifting you something in the month of August. That, that could be your birthday. Um, so that could be why this is showing up here. I feel like there's some kind of closure going on in, in August as well, but it doesn't necessarily feel as if this is like 
a romantic person like delivering you closure I feel like you've struggled with something and there's somebody kind of helping you to close it out there's somebody who's giving you something it just seems like there's a lot of support in the month of August um, some of you could be getting like some housewarming gifts or some gifts for your apartment or something of that nature here in the month of August it seems like somebody's moving okay I just keep getting that energy of just an unexpected move um, and I think that for some of you you have ended like I, like I said I feel like you guys are ending a lot of things in the year of 2022 but you're doing this so you can start new things things that are just more in alignment with the new you Leo and um, I think that people are really in support of that most people are really in support of that I think that's why the ace of Pentacles is here as well you know people are just uh, trying to show you that they support you and they're trying to help you out with you know, finding things that the new you is going to be in alignment with. So maybe they're like, maybe, you you know, you want to come to the gym with me? Do you want to go to, you know, this class with me? You know, it's, it's that kind of energy here where they're like trying to help you find new things. So I feel that happening in the month of August as well. Uh, in September, you have the Page of Wands. So let's look at the Page of Wands showing up here. And I feel like a lot of you, like this is going to be something very thoughtful that this person turns you on to. It's going to be a big change for you. What's going on with the Page of Wands? It's going to bring a lot of passion to your life here. The Ten of Pentacles, possibly even um, money. So this could be somebody who's like, hey, well, you know, if you're not doing that anymore, then you could come and, you know, work with me or help me out with this. And we could, you know, split the profits and blah, 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 right? could be something like that. And you bring something new to the table that speeds things up here, Leo. So September could be a really good month for money. Even for those of you who are, uh, you know, not really doing a whole lot um, in terms of, like, I keep, feel like I keep getting the energy of somebody who is um, like retiring or they're, or they're quitting a job here. Even for those of you where that part is not resonating, I feel like money could be really good. You could be starting something new um, or you could be receiving like a gift, a bonus or something of that nature. That page of wands, it is a message coming in, okay? But I feel like it, it feels more like news, like you're, you're getting extra money. You're getting uh, extra finances here in the month of September. So you may have some, some wiggle room, some extra spending money here. Um, in the month of September. For others of you, there could be somebody who's just very, mm, I don't want to really say that this person bounces around, but I don't think that this person really um, cares much for commitment. And I think that they could be expressing a truth to you that maybe they want some kind of commitment here. They want to give and receive with you um, with the Ten of Pentacles showing up. Like they want some kind of commitment here. And in the month of October, you have the Strength card. Let's look at this. What's going on with Strength? Page of Cups. I feel like you guys are feeling really good about something here. Um, you have the Page of Pentacles showing up twice. You've got the Page of Wands showing up twice. Um, oh, man. And you know what? For some of you where you were planting new seeds in the month of January, hear me out here. You get that Six of Pentacles in the world. Like, you open a new chapter here. And in the month of February, like I said, for some of you, that Hermit card is you kind of, you know, withdrawing in order to figure out how to approach something in a different way. So for those of you where that's work or business, um, whatever you start doing in the month of February, it really, really pays off by the month of September with that page of wands showing up twice. Like there's just a lot going on for you in 2022, Leo. Anyways, in the month of October, I feel as if you guys, um, you, you know, you're getting some kind of news that you have passed something or you've made it through the worst of something here with the page of cups showing up. Um, for some reason, I get that there's something going on with schooling or like, You've had to really stand your ground in a situation. I don't know what's happening with that. Like, I feel like you've been trying to fight against something here. It could be something legal with the justice card being underneath that king of swords. But, um, you know, I feel like the fight is over here. You're able to relax. You're able to, um, you know, kind of move on in a sense. So some of you, it's like you've you've been struggling with something here. Um, not sure what that is because all this looks great. So this must resonate with somebody else here. I guess you could be struggling and you could still have, you know, all this good stuff going on. Um, but, you know, I think some of you, you could be reflecting with the strength card on everything that you've gone through here and everything that you've made it through. And that could be a little bittersweet as well. But the Page of Cups showing up here, that's somebody who is very flexible. They can adapt. They can get through anything. Um, you know, I just feel this like domino effect of changes, you know, because I think that you guys just keep stepping into this place where you're like, you know what I got? through that I can get through this too I can get through that too uh, you know what I'm gonna go for that too that's the energy that I feel you in for a small portion of you you could have a water sign who comes in in the month of October um, trying to offer you something here okay this doesn't feel like somebody you've felt with dealt with before this feels like it's somebody new it feels like they're very timid but it does feel like they um, you, you know, they've been observing you for a while, maybe even right now. Um, but like this person is very, very timid. So they could kind of be a tough cookie to crack here, but I think they may uh, shoot their shot, okay? 
Um, I, I do feel as if they're not someone who's... Um, it's not to say that they're not good at communicating. They're not good at communicating when something bothers them. They feel like it, this feels like a person who could be a little bit spiteful. Um, I'm getting some Capricorn energy, not because Capricorns are spiteful. It's just coming through here. Um, so some of you, it could, it could be a Capricorn, uh, but they're just not really open to communicating when they're bothered. Okay, so that's something that would leave you guessing. You know, you may not, um, you know, hear from them or something of that nature because something has bothered them, but they failed to communicate that to you. They may even act like everything's fine. It's that kind of energy here. You know, it seems like they're trying to be genuine, but they have some some stuff to work out. Okay, I'll put it that way. You have the Six of Wands in the month of November. Somebody could have Jupiter in Leo. Some of you could be graduating early here or receiving some kind of um, licensing or certification. You have the Nine of Pentacles, financial independence. Um, if you have a business here, Leo, it's going to be booming in the month of November. Like It's getting a lot of attention with the Six of Wands showing up. You're getting a lot of attention. Those of you who are single, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. I feel you could be changing something about your appearance. I mean, why not? Uh, you know, you guys have a lot changing on the inside. You have a lot changing surrounding you. So, um, you know, I feel like you could do something kind of drastic here with your looks. Um, you could be getting a new car or something of that nature. It's like something about your appearance or like materials. It, it's changing. Um, you know, so the Nine of Pentacles being here, it's Venus in Virgo. You could be getting a little fancy, uh, <laughs> enjoying the luxuries, enjoying the finer things in life. So, especially since you had that Ten of Pentacles show up, just you know, a few months over here. So, um, yeah, I feel like you guys could be kind of, um, you know, treating yourself, you know, not, not really overdoing it, but treating yourself with that Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles energy in the month of November. And I think that it's getting you some attention, okay? So, um, you have the Chariot showing up in the month of December. What's going on with the Chariot for Leo in the month of December? Ooh. Um... In the month of November, I also feel like who, whoever, some of you, it's like they're, you're getting a lot of attention, but at the same time, I feel like there's somebody coming towards you who may be a little bit like, they just do not play around. Like, they are very serious, um, in, like, in regards to what they want. I can't really feel out the energy that well, if I'm being honest. It's like, I can't tell if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I can't tell if they... I can't really tell if this person is, like, serious about you... In terms of a commitment or if they're serious about what they want out of connecting with you what is this why is this coming through here like i'm getting someone who like doesn't smile like they don't smile they don't like queen of wands yeah i think that this could be what they're wanting from you here so just be careful like i said you know and i really i should have known that because um, I was talking about you possibly changing something with your appearance. And, you know, the Queen of Wands, like, that's, like, passion and, you know, attraction. And, and not always, you know, not always. That's not always what she's about. But, um, yeah, that's that's something you want to be careful with here. I'm just getting somebody who is just very uh, determined. And I don't like their energy now that I'm seeing this Queen of Wands out here. Because it seems like they're just determined when it comes to getting what they want out of you, Okay. Um, so let's look at that chariot for December. Emperor, I was going to say, I feel like you guys are going to be connecting with somebody, um, of a higher status, okay? And they're going to be helping you to move forward with some plans here, okay? They could be introducing you to someone who's going to help you out legally in the month of December. Um, some of you could have some trouble with a car, with the purchase of a car, um, like, just be careful with getting swindled when it comes to um, a car. So I don't know what's going on with that, Leo. You could be shopping for a new car here, um, you know, and things aren't really explained to you, excuse me, properly. So uh, you want to, you know, just kind of read the fine print and make sure you have something lined up if that's uh, to happen, all right? Um, now, for others of you, I think that you may end up, um, whatever move that you're making here, I feel like a lot of you are moving in the year of 2022. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but it's like, I feel like it's happening at different phases for a lot of you, okay? So some of you, it's going to be that you're going to end up moving in December because you connect with someone here who's like, hey, you know, uh, you could meet with this person and have this opportunity, but it's going to be here. It's that kind of energy uh, showing up for December. I think some of you can move closer to a father figure or masculine energy, um, and I'm not sure if that's physical or if it's emotional. Some of you, it's physical. You may end up taking care of someone here.
you may end up getting paid for that as well. So I'm not sure, I, I'm spacing on what it's called here, but you may end up becoming a caregiver for someone here, a father figure or masculine, just a masculine energy here at Cancer or an Aries. But overall, um, I feel like there is an opportunity in the month of December and it is going to involve travel or movement. It is going to involve yet another big change, Leo. So it looks like a really big year, you guys. You have a lot of things going on here. And, um, you know, I'm going to go over to Patreon, but you can ask a yes or no question. I'll start off with that. And then I'm going to pull some oracles. I'm going to pull from Kipper. I'm going to pull from um, a love deck. I'm going to pull from Life, Purpose, and Soul Journey oracles. And then I'll clarify just a little bit with the tarot. So, um I'm going to have the link to Patreon down below if y'all are interested. But if this is where we part, Leo, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your year. Bye.